Hello, welcome to Enterprise Vault. I'm Antonio Carvalho, Vild Products Director. In today's session, we are going to talk about Fuse Management Central. I hope you enjoy it, and please reach out for any question. We are fully available for you. So let's start with the business needs versus customer challenges. So we all know that we have constantly more users, more integrations, more business applications, more content, and of course, more demand on top of our systems. And below all of these or supporting all of these, we require a high level of resilience to be able to support everything the business needs at all the time. And supporting all of these, again, we have the operations requiring high performance, administration agility, observability, and of course, analytics by dealing with all of this data. And currently, we have to, do, to deal with several sources of, of information, such as log files, admin pages, summary timings, amongst a variety of information we need to check. So what is Fuse Management Central? So this is a centralized web solution, fully focused on open text, providing to customers not only to add monitor their systems, but also to administer them. And on top of this, with analytics, while providing a very interesting user experience, making very, very easy to do all of these usually painful tasks. This is a 100% open text unified solution management. So this means that you can manage open text content suites and very soon on the next release, also open text archive center, everything in a single and unified solution. Leveraging, of course, all the telemetry, observability, administration, analytics. This will convert on you having the full control over your systems. Some challenges we are constantly trying to solve. So increase efficiency, highly important. The business needs are growing. You need to have the proper agility to support the business needs by reducing the mean time of identification and mean time of alert re resolution. Very important also. Every time you have an alert, you need to be more proactive or you need to react very quickly to affect the less as possible your business. And as the last point, to reduce the risk. As a standalone solution, Fuse Management Central allows you to work only from this solution regardless of having to log in into your different clusters or individual systems. You, you only require to log in into Fuse Management Central, view all of the data available. You, we are never displaying business data on our solution. And of course, you can interact with, with every each component. Talking about the use cases. So application monitoring, just to give you an example, how does Fuse Management Central work? So everything is displayed at, at full site. You can see everything from an overview perspective or even drill down by going to a cluster and see all the cluster details, for instance, all the content server cluster details on agents, distributed agents, threads usage, and you can go even, even further. So if you want to check, for instance, just a specific system, you just need to select which system you want to check, click on it, and here you have a 360 degree view over everything that is happening inside one single system, which, which in turn belongs to a cluster. But you can see everything happening at real time with its status, its performance, threads usage, which agents are running or are not properly running, the storage providers. You can see all of this information into a single and unified solution. Centralized administration. So by centralized administration, we mean that we can also not, not only monitoring, but also administer directly from Fuse. This can be very interesting. So let's say if I want to increase my system threads, I just need to come to these quick configurations on, this, on my threads context, and I can apply just to one system, or I could quickly apply to several of my systems. I will click apply, 
and I could apply it right now or I could schedule it. If I apply it right now, I would immediately apply it and that's it. So we choose everything, it's just point and click, just to give you an idea. Also regarding logs, you can click on the logs and you can even browse, remotely browse logs. So if I want to see a thread log, I will just need to browse my logs, click the desired log, and I'm looking at all my logs remotely without even having to, to do a remote desktop or, or opening a shared folder. So this can be very, very interesting. In focusing on the alerts, I will show you how can we quickly resolve an alert remotely. So consider this cluster, which is a cluster with some content server systems. And here we have a system object process that is currently stopped. Well, it's actually the enterprise update distributor. So I receive this alert both by email and also on my UI. And I have all the details when it is started, what is the status, the component name, which cluster is being affected. So if I want to immediately resolve this problem, I don't need to go to the admin pages, search for this component. So I will have to have these skills. With Fuse Management Central, I just would have to click the actions. I will click start. It will ask me for this confirmation. I will click start. And if you notice, I am right now starting this specific process directly from an alert context. And it will be solved in the next seconds, as you are going to see. So this is triggering the action remotely on content server. So as you can see regard, uh, regarding the skills, of the person that is using Fuse Management Central, we decrease a lot the administration learning curve. So the alert is still active, and in some seconds you will see this, uh, this alert completely resolved. Talking about user experience, and here is the point that we really, really care a lot because uh, currently managing a content server er because it's such an amazing solution and such a complex solution require a high skilled level to properly manage it. So by presenting all of this data in such a way that anyone can quickly see where we have our alerts, where, where is anything coming from, what is my threads level, what are my distributed agent status, my system object volume, my sessions. So it's very easy for, for almost everyone to understand and pinpoint where we have the problems. This is a run anywhere solution, meaning that you can run it on premises, Windows, Linux, or it's fully cloud available. So we have it on Docker or Kubernetes, so you can run this on any cloud provider you wish for. It's simply plug and manage, and by plug and manage, I mean, this is really simple. You just need to connect your system to Fuse Management Central, and once connect, you can start using it because it starts collecting all the data and presenting everything at clear sight. And any alert that is present on your systems will, will be immediately displayed on the alerts widget. And in order for you to don't miss from where that alert is coming from, our dark theme and our alert, alert color scheme is also helping you. So if I want to check from where is this alert coming from, you can see that the affected widget or the affected component is actually being highlighted. So here I have a memory usage issue. Also, my data flow is suspended. So everything is, is guiding you to, to take care of each problem you have. And you can, of course, interact directly with it just by clicking on the correspondent action. We have also the time machine. And the time machine is a feature that allows you to, to watch past system data and think on the following. So Fuse is constantly showing you real-time data. So you can see what's happening right now. It's an always on performance analysis and system check. But let's say you want to check what has happened yesterday, for instance, at, at uh, midnight or 23 or at 11 uh, p.m. You can click on any point of the chart 
And if you notice, my UI has now changed and we, and we are no longer visualizing current or, or real-time data. We are now visualizing past data. And every, all the data we present are, is correlated data. So I can navigate everywhere and I will be visualizing data from this specific moment in time. And you can go back even further. So if I want to check how my systems were. Data. So one, one week ago, systems data, we are now visualizing that information. And I think that for once and for the first time, you will be completely controlling what is happening and with the ability of interacting with your systems. So about benefits, it's all about, in the end, it's all about time and money. So we believe that by providing this kind of interface, we can reduce a lot, really a lot, about 70% of your operational costs. Why? Providing an administration agile friendly platform, you can be much more proactive on managing your systems. Thus, you, can, you will be much more resilient and providing a much more streamlined administration. And in the end, it's, it will be a much more time efficient manner of um, managing your operations and you will have a centralized solution for all your clusters. Just making a sneak peek of our next release, which will come out in May 21, we will start also managing Archive Center and I can show you a sneak peek of how it will be. So I, I was showing you an, a content server system, I mean the agents, threads and all of this, but now I will open an archive center system inside Fuse Management Central. As you can see, the UI is pretty much uh, the same. This is because of the user experience part. You don't need to relearn every time you switch the context, if it's a content server or an archive server. Yeah, but you can see that it has changed the widgets. So now we are talking about logical archives, buffers, disk volumes. So it's very simple. I can browse my archives. I could even see all my archives details. I can see my pools. I could detach the volume from a pool. I can manage my certificates. I can also add a disk volume browse the path, set the volume name, select the volume class. So everything that the admin client provides, we are also providing you. And again, just highlighting this again, with a unified and friendly interface, as well as services. This is very important. We will also start to monitor the extended ECM uh, so the business application, the scheduled processing, the document generation platforms, and also the licensing status. For the first time, we, we, start, we will deliver an alerts API because we want to integrate with third-party alert um, tools. And well, the first one, I mean, the first native integration we will start on, which will be with CheckMK, but more will come like ServiceNow, Splunk. I will tell you about this in the next slide. And as always, with each release, we are delivering UI and user experience enhancements, continuously improving uh, the way our customers use, use our tool. About the roadmap and telling you a little bit, what are we planning for release 1.x? I mean, the full, the full scope of 1.x releases. So we want to cover the whole Content Suite platform, starting with Content Suite slash Extend ECM, Archive Center, Open Text Directory Services, Brava, and Blazor. This is, let's say, our initial scope, but more other Open Text solutions will join. Third-party monitoring and service test tools. For instance, we want to open an incident in ServiceNow whenever an alert is fired in Fuse, so we want to in natively integrate with several uh, solutions currently in the market. This is very important for our corporate customers. And let's say this is one of our major milestones. We want to have event-based problem remediation. So currently we display an alert and the user needs to go there and, and trigger the, the the desired action, but we want to be even more proactive and, and suggest with, 
which action could really fix this alert or even automatically trigger it. This is this will be one of our biggest milestones. And thank you very much for this short session. We are open to reply or any questions. Please please reach us. Thank you for attending.